What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Jared McCain. And for those of you that don't know who this is, he was an unranked TikToker going to this year's uh, AAU circuit. You know, this summer he played on the a EYBL circuit. And has now become a top 30 ranked player in the country. Uh, highly recruited player. And someone that might go on to be a McDonald's All-American if he keeps going at the pace that he's going at. Uh, but before we get into the video, I just want to quickly say... If you're a fan of basketball, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know, join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comments. Uh, we'll be sure to respond to every single comment, so make sure you leave those down below. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Uh, share it with your friends. Let's get right into the video. So for, for those of you that don't know, uh, Jared McCain, like I said, was an unranked, unranked high school basketball player. Uh, he's in the class of 2023. Plays for Centennial High School in Corona, California. A 6'3", about 175 pounds. Uh, he's a shooting guard, kind of point guard, shooting guard position. Um, and like I said, he was going into uh, AU this summer. He played on the EYBL circuit for Why Not, uh, Team Why Not, and uh, was unranked going into the summer. You know, playing in the 16U, and really had a great summer uh, but that's kind of not the first reason why he blew up necessarily was because of his play actually he kind of blew up on TikTok uh, he was that for those of you that have TikTok and and were on TikTok and watching uh, he was a high school basketball player that kind of blew up for doing the ski dance on TikTok uh, right now he has a little bit under 300,000 followers on TikTok and I remember he blew up like I said for doing the ski dance He's kind of doing it with these crazy faces, this tons of energy, and he's doing his in his AAU uniforms. He was doing it, you know, at practice, shoot around, whatever. He was doing it all over the place and getting a lot of attention because of it. I mean, if you'd read through all the comments, they'd be talking about, you know, he does this dance before a game, then goes and drops 40 on people. Um, and I think really, like I said, he kind of blew up at first, you know, because of his TikToks. And I don't think a lot of people realize, you know, how good uh, Jordan McCain you know was at basketball I think they just saw him as a TikToker, uh, and kind of got a little a little bit of a bad rap at first because of people like Geo Wise uh, that were kind of basketball players that were just obnoxious TikTokers as well uh, but Jordan McCain is not just a, an obnoxious TikToker that doesn't know how to play basketball um, he played in the 16U like I said for team why not he played Centennial High School but on the AAU circuit he led his team to the 16U championship um, in the EYBL so that you know is crazy that's obviously you know really good for him to lead his team to the championship on the EYBL circuit he did this while averaging 20.5 points per game uh, 4.3 rebounds per game 4.7 assists on 50 and a half percent shooting from the field and 40.9 percent shooting from three uh, so Jordan McCain or sorry Jared McCain I'm sorry if I had said Jordan before Jared McCain uh, really he kind of dominated the EYBL circuit or this bubble I guess they they played in the summer like I said 20 and a half points per game while shooting 50% from the field 40.9% from three I let his team do a championship uh, like I said he had a really good summer was unranked going into the summer you know put up those numbers let his team do the championship did all those things this summer uh, gained a lot of attention by blowing up on TikTok for doing TikTok dances before games uh, you know during practices things like that so uh, Jared had a great summer this year and he goes like I said from unranked to now all of a sudden uh, according to ESPN they have him as a 29th ranked player in the class of 2023 a uh, four-star recruit 87 overall uh, ranked second in the state uh, seventh at his position at the shooting guard position uh, just gets a lot of recognition for the summer that he had and like I said I think a lot of it has to do with him blowing up on TikTok first obviously uh, I think he would still be getting recruited or would be uh, ranked in the top 60 according by ESPN. But I think the TikTok recognition and the following definitely helped him out in that, helped to get his name out there more and got more eyes on him. So yeah, like I said, he's ranked 29th in the nation right now, uh, 87 uh, scout grade according to ESPN and four uh, four star recruit. Uh, because of this, he's also getting you know highly recruited. So he has people like Houston, uh, Louisville, Texas Tech recruiting him, uh, Eastern Washington, Kansas. Um, he's got offers from all these schools. You know, has plenty more 
uh, recruiting them like Loyola Marymount, New Mexico, San Diego State, Stanford, Texas A&M, USC, uh, Pepperdine, Washington, all these schools um, are recruiting him, have offered him, and right now it says that it's warm for Houston, uh, Louisville, and Texas Tech. Uh, like I said, I think that it's, it's really crazy that Jared McCain uh, went from unranked and uh, kind of unknown going into the summer to now all of a sudden, like I said, uh, ranked top 30 in his class, getting recruited by all these top schools, offers from all these top schools. And like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the TikTok rec recognition that he got uh, from, from blowing up from doing his dances. He would obviously, like I said, be, a, be recruited and a you know, top six recruit, but I think you know, the TikTok stuff really, really helped him out and helped get his name out there, get more eyes on him, and get you know, more recognition, basically. So Jared McCain, like I said, I think he has a really good chance you know, at, uh, at being a McDonald's All-American if he continues at this rate, continues performing like he has been doing. Um, I mean, he goes from, like I said, unranked and unknown to all of a sudden I think he could be a McDonald's All-American. Uh, he's 6'3 point guard. He can shoot the crap out the ball. Uh, I mean, shooting 41% from three, 50% from the field. He does it uh, while averaging 4.7 assists per game. I mean, 20 points per game. He just had a great summer. He, you know, has a lot to build on in this up, uh, upcoming high school season. And we'll see if he can continue to put up numbers like that and play as effective as he did this summer. And I think he's going to be a highly recruited player and one that I think, you know, could make the McDonald's All-American game uh, if he continues at this rate. So uh, I just want to hear from all you guys in the comment section down below if you have heard of Jared McCain. You know, did you first hear of him because of his TikToks? Or because of his play. I mean, I know I first seen him on TikTok and was like, hey, who the heck is this kid doing all these dances, you know, blowing up for the ski dance? And then I did a little more research and seen that, you know, he's a bucket, you know, leading his team to a championship on the EYBL circuit. Uh, really, he's more than just a TikTok dancer. He's a, he's a legit hooper uh, and a highly recruited one at that. So, you know, leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit the like button on this video, you know, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.